Hello and welcome to Concepts. In this session, we will render an interior view exported from SketchUp, which is a popular program widely used by architects and interior designers to build their 3D models. We will be using a combination of photos and brushes. After completing your 3D model in SketchUp, just select your desired angle then export to the image and set BDF as your file format. When importing the BDF file to Concepts, make sure you tap this icon. By this way, you will end up with just wireframe without the white background. Now you can add color and place any materials to your drawing without covering any of the line work. Make sure the layer of the wireframe stays on top and let's use manual layer sorting this time. Import a wood texture from Photos or Browser. Then duplicate the image. I mirrored the duplicated image to avoid any clear difference in tone between the attached two images. Repeat this step to fill the remaining wooden areas. Let's keep a copy of it in a separate layer for later use. Now rotate and locate the image to the headboard of the bed. Use the mask tool to erase the excess image outside the panel. Use the other layer of wooden texture to cover the middle part. Then use the mask tool with the same previous way. Repeat the same step to apply material to the frame. Now it's time to insert a carpet material for the flooring.
I will use cowhide material for the small rug. You can control the mask smoothness and size to suit your needs. Zooming in and out will also affect the relative size of your mask tool. Using the same method, we can easily add the view outside the glass door. Some of the empty areas can be colored by simply using the fill tool. Now we will use smart way to drop shadows. Usually I'm using a transparent gray color to darken the entire image. You will see why in a minute. To do this, I will use rectangle guide to get clean edges. Alternatively, you could use basic shapes objects for this. I will darken the front layer as the light source is coming through the glass door. Then I'm using the mask to reveal the light on the surface facing the window.
You can use some pencil lines as a guide to shape the shadows. Then remove them when you finish. Having some areas darker than the other will make the scene appear more realistic. Here I'm using the soft mask to soften the shadow edges and make some light effects from the lens. The flexibility of dealing with PDF files plus using real material photos make it super easy to quickly produce for render in concepts. I hope you learned something new today and I will see you in next one.